Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial, we are going to see Unix environment. Very important concept, very basic commands, but it is going to help you in your real time project. So let's start today's session. What is Unix environment? So whenever we start a Unix system, as like if you're starting Windows system, or if you start any application, so before it start the actual application, we initialize such application, we initialize the Windows system. On the same line, we also initialize the Unix system. So during the initialization, various parameters will be required. And those parameters are nothing but the Unix parameters or Unix environment parameters. When we log into the system, the shell undergoes a phase called as an initialization to set up the Unix environment how it happened or what is the process first unix shell checks whether the file etc profile exists or not where that present so you know if you want to check you can go to the unix terminal and you can use this less command and you will see the the file so if you see this file that means the file is present so that is the very first check will be done by the shell if file exists the shells start reading it otherwise this file is skipped there will not be any error reported on your screen while starting the unix environment after that shells shell checks to see whether the file dot profile exists in your home directory your home directory is a directory that when we start from when we log into it if it exists the shell reads it otherwise again the file will be skipped by shell there no error will be reported so let's see whether the dot profile file is present or not in order to see the dot profile you have to use the home directory what is home directory? It is the location whenever you log in. So right now we are in the home directory. Assume that suppose if you create one directory. Okay. We created one directory. Let's go to the that directory. And suppose you want to go to the home. In order to go to the home, you have to use command cd and tilt command. So it will go to the home you can see here tilt is nothing but the home here unix so that means whenever you use the tilt it goes to the home directory on the same line suppose you want to see the dot profile file which is present in the home directory you can go you can use command vi tilt command that is home dot profile if it file is present then it will show otherwise it will show empty directly empty file so dot profile is not set even you can do the ls minus a so you will see all the files like dot bash rc all the dot files will be displayed if you use ls minus a that we already seen in previous sessions so in this location we can't see the dot profile file that is the reason it will not show now the next things what is dot profile file the file etc profile is maintained by unix system or system administrator of unix machine and it contains shell initialization information required by all the users the file dot profile can be customized the minimum set of information that is needed to configure includes type of terminal a list of directories in which to locate the commands and list of variables affected terminal for example etc profile is for the, all the user but dot profile is for the given user for example i have logged into my terminal as a test user so dot profile will be associated with that test user however etc hyphen profile will be applicable to all the user which are available in this environment the dot profile contains 
the terminal type what are the commands you are going to use means what will what will the execution uh, commands which are present in your system the path of such execution will be there also the list of terminal affecting terminals the, this information is maintained in the profile for example if you are executing any java program you need to set the environment variable called as java home so you have to set that in the dot profile how to set terminal type the type of terminal you are using is automatically configured by either login or by using get the program if terminal is set incorrectly we might not be able to interact with the shell properly to make sure that this is not case set the terminal to lowest common denominator like term equal to vt100 so this kind of setting we can do how to set variable and path to set any custom variable user variable name and value so you have to provide name and value so this term equal to vt100 where you have to set you have to set in the dot profile file or you have to set in the etc profile to set custom variable you have to use temp equal to and the temp value and then we can if you want to print that you can use the echo command when we type any command on command prompt the shell has to locate command at location which path variable specifies so that is the reason in the path variable we have to set bin directory where the all the commands are present like for example for jdk of java jdk you have bin directory you have to set that bin directory in a path variable so all the bin directories with all the commands are present you have to set all these bins in the path variable separated by the colon so this is bin this is a user bin temp abc bin so similarly a different bins will be there or the location of command with the exact command present separated by colon now let's see some more interesting things let me exit it Let's log in and switch user to MDM. So now I'm now I am in the MDM user. Let me go to my direct my home directory so I can you can see we reach to the just till symbol gives us the directory home directory now what we'll do i'm able to see this mdm at berlin how i'm able to see that the reason i'm able to see this my username and the server name etc this is called as a, a command prompt so to in order to display a different value there we have to use the ps one variable so what is ps1 variable the characters that the shell displays as as a command prompt are stored in the variable called as a ps1 to change this value of this variable we have to use ps1 equal to and then assign some value for example let me set ps1 ps1 equal to Suppose let me say it ABC. Okay, so we have to use in single code. Let's do that. let me double check on this so this is the variable actually used to uh, set the variables uh, to set the command prompt to set the value of ps1 so that it shows the working directory 
you have to use PS1 equal to uh, you have to uh, use either single quote or double quote then rectangle bracket open and close then you have to use hyphen u at hyphen h hyphen w and at the end you can use the hyphen dollar so we'll see meaning of each of this so before that let's start the ps1 command once again ps1 equal to let's try with double quote hyphen u hyphen dollar now you can see just user is display right the reason is we are just use the u now suppose if you say ps1 equal to abc let's see what will it will show now it will show as a abc it will not show rectangular bracket it will not show any dollar sign so if you want to change instead of abc if you want to change a different value use ps1 equal to suppose double quote rectangular bracket so you want to print user then you want to print suppose add then you want to use server name or working directory just use w after that you want to use hyphen it's like space separator then hours you can give and at the end you want dollar or if you want any other symbol for example uh, if you want hash sign you can use that but before that let me close yeah we close that hyphen dollar and double quote let's see what it it will give us now you can see we got the m uh, we got the mdm the tilt symbol means my current directory hyphen and this h means it gives the server name and suppose what is this one one it is actually the command for example if i give one more command now the number changes it's a 12th command let me do ls now it gives the next next command so whenever you ex execute ls or if you come execute any command it this number get increase suppose if i go to the pictures directory now you can see you are in the picture directory this is home and uh, this is your home directory and this is inside a picture folder or directory and berlin is a uh, server name and 14 is a number increase so how this details i'm able to uh, get I, I was able to get these details because we have some guide over here but before that just have some more detail we can make the change you by ourselves every time when you log into the terminal or to the shell pump or if you want to do at one time you have to just update the dot profile file and mention ps1 command there so no need to set in the shell every time when you log in there are some escape character which we can use if you use hyphen t it is the current time expressed in hh mmss hyphen d it's a current date expressed as a weekday monthly date hyphen n is new line hyphen s is current shell environment hyphen capital w is working directory hyphen small w is full path of your working directory hyphen u is current user hyphen h is a host name hyphen a hash is a command number of the current command which we already seen it increases when the new command is entered hyphen dollar if the effective uid is o that is if you are logged in as a root the end prompt will be with a hash character otherwise it will be dollar so let's try with the login as a root and let's see what happened uh, but before that let me go to the previous uh, mode like the dollar dollar mode in order to go to that I have to use dollar so let me do something like this 
ps1 okay equal to double code i'll use again the user capital u then i will use add symbol then let's use the server name that is host name then we'll use the directory path the directory path i can get using capital w or small w let's use small w then we'll use the our that is hyphen h we can use hyphen d2 to see how the display is going to sh show let's close it for now and we'll use the dollar symbol as a command prompt and we'll close it now i can see uh, this is berlin uh, the so username server this is this is working directory uh, we use double h actually let's do one thing instead of h i want to use the t command so let's do one thing instead of h let's add t to see how time is getting displayed so now it will show the time also and the date so these are the details i'm able to see now you can see the dollar symbol so when you use login with the root let's see whether it's dollar will show or not so let's do root i'm using it's a password now if you if you see when you logged into the root it shows as a hash sign when you logged into any other user it shows as a dollar so that is the difference i would like to show you so this is the way you can set your command prompt if you want to change like because we have set that variable to the mdm profile and not to the root if you want to change for the root also you can change that ps1 variable so i hope uh, this is going to help you to show the more information at your command prompt let's go back to our mdm user now again that variable will be set when you switch to your root user the the information will be lost so ps1 variable will be no more available so you have to set it again so just copy it and paste it it's very simple and it will set it again let's do the clear command and now we are in the command prompt so let's see some more and other interesting things what is ps2 like ps1 is giving the information of the command prompt ps2 is also command prompt but it is little more additional when we issue or when we execute any command which is incomplete like suppose if you are echoing any string and if you do not end it with a double quote it will enter into the next line and it will ask for your input when you provide input it will complete the command for example suppose if i do echo hello friends and if i use enter so you can see there is one special character and that is nothing but the ps2 character so if you want to change this ps2 character you can change it for example so in order to complete this command you have to use the course because you are going to complete with course and enter now it will print so now how to set this ps2 variable in order to set ps2 variable you have to use ps2 equal to and any characters you want to set let's try here ps2 i will use enter remaining command and enter okay now let's try again echo thing echo welcome to and you suppose enter it it's, it's incomplete so it's saying enter the remaining command so you have to provide 
take take no the remaining command suppose take no wall just enter and you can see welcome to take no wall so by this way you build to see this details so if you want to close uh, a command or if you want to set any other ps2 variable you can set that also for example if you want to instead of one if you want to set two times now let's try echo welcome to enter you can see the symbol has changed yes. and end so you can see the details so on the same line if you want to um, provide any additional information or if you want to see the different command prompt for the secondary secondary command prompt you can change as a ps2 variable so that is nothing but the ps2 variable there are some other environment variables for example display it contains the identifier for the display that x11 program should be should be used by default home indicate the home directory of the current user the default argument for the is cd build command ifs that indicates the internal field separator that is used by the parser for word splitting after expansion lang to expand the default system locale like normally we set the lang as the us or any other countries like british for br uh, oh sorry br for brazilian etc then we have the path it indicates the search path for the command it is colon separated list of directed directories in which the shell looks for commands pwd indicate the current working directory which set by the cd command for example we already used this commands like pwd you know which show the directories if you want to see uh, let's see home it prints let's try so it prints home so th these are the commands which actually these are the variables which are already set by the variable now you want to see the lang also let's try to print lang what is lang it is set echo dollar line now you can see it is e en us utf8 so that is the long which is got set here there are some additional variables like ld library path a unique system with a dynamic linker contains a colon separated list of directories that the dynamic linker should search for the shared object when building a process image after execution before searching in any other directories random it generated a random integer between 0 and 32767 which is integer limit each time it is referred then shlvl increment by 1 each time uh, as instance of a bash is started this variable is useful for determining whether the build in exist command ends the current session the term refers to terminal type or the display type tz refers to time zone it can be take value from like gmt ast ist or pst etc uid expand the numeric user id of a current user initialize at the shell startup so let's try at least one thing Let's try echo. So you can see this is the ID one o o two is assigned to MGM. You want to see? Let's do the less etc. So you can see MGM. So the it is. Number is one o two two, one o o two. Similarly, any numeric value will be assigned to the different users.
and it, that depends on when user got created so these are the details about the environment about the unix we saw the ps1 command ps2 command we can change this command prompt using the dot profile file where the, all the information about your environment is set i hope this tutorial is going to help you to understand unix environment in detail if you have any questions or queries do not mention to in command uh, in comment section of this video thank you again and have a nice time